Hello, today we're going to actually create a poppy for Anzac Day and I'm going to show you how to do it with some of the materials you would find at home. You can either use felt pens for colour or you can actually use oil pastels. If you have paints, you may want to use those. We will need a glue stick, a pencil and I've got a cup, a large size like so and I've also have a smaller circle to trace for the actual poppy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to trace with our pencil the beginning oops, of our five to six petals. From my research, I've seen that poppies can have four, five or six petals. So I've left a space between each of them and now a bigger space in between for the other ones. One, two, three, four, and that's my fifth one, five. If you want to, you can have a sixth. That's totally up to you. All right, so I've traced it. And then I need one for the center of my poppy, like so. This is an example of one I've made earlier, as you can see. We have five petals on this one. So we're going to make a little dot or mark at one finger space above or below each of the circles like so. And that will give us our shape. So you can see here, I'm taking that up like that. And it's what gives us our lovely petal shape. Now, if you know um, poppies well, they tend to be flat petals at the top. They're not like um, margarita flowers or daisies, as you may know them. So if you go like this and cut off a little bit like that, so the opposite end there. And I sometimes outline it, and you can do it with a felt pen if you want to, like so. This will enable you to see it better. I sometimes do a bit of a ripply edge to my poppy because they're quite deli delicate to touch the petals of a poppy. And in actual fact, you will find they're a bit papery like, like, like tissue they look like. Now, if you don't have color pens you can, and you have colored paper, you can actually draw this on your colored pages. So here we go. I've just outlined that. And then my center, I'm just going to outline it in a different color so you can see that that is my center. So we've got that, you can rub that out, but because we're using crayons, I'm going to show you how to color. And I'm doing this upward motion, which is even nicer. I've used this orangey uh, like red, and I like color blending, so I'm teaching you another little technique today and you'll be color blending. So you can see like so, and I will do this one here with the darker red. You can see the two colors, how they're different. The darker red can be blended in the top. If you pass the line a bit, it doesn't matter, but I like going down, see like that, that makes a beautiful poppy pattern. Okay, so just Pressing hard will give you lots of color. But as I said, you might have paint at home. Like so. The poppy flower has little seeds in the center that tend to be a dark color. And we're going to use a black crayon for that. Quite a lot of you have got oil pastels in your kit so as I said five or six petals and blending the, the other colors we're almost finished there it doesn't take too long when you're pressing hard you know if you go over the edges it's fine because you're going to trim them so here I am back with my blending here like so And voila. For the center where the seeds are, I'm choosing a dark color. I'm choosing black here. 
You can use a dark color. You could even use your 2B pencil if you want to. I'm doing a circular motion to give different visual texture. Now, with my scissors, I'm going to cut around the edges and it makes it easier. Sometimes I go rough like so, so it's easier to handle. And I use this part, see that middle bit of the scissors? I use that and I walk my little scissors around the edges. It's really important to know that if you're left-handed, you would probably be best using left-handed scissors. I'm right-handed, so it's no problem using these scissors, but if um, you're like me and I've picked up left-handed scissors by mistake, um, they make cutting really, really tricky. So one, two, and again, cutting these off like so. Now I'm going to show you, some of you might have yours like this. Can you see the difference between these two petals? This is really rough. We want to come in and have a nice smooth edge. We really want to make the edge look like the flower. So it makes it, it's important. These little bits you can throw away or recycle. Okay, and here we go. Miss Antonini is going to go around one, there, and the last few. Like so. So, as I said, you may want to have six or just leave it as the five. I thought I'd make a six petal one so you can see the difference. So they're all my coloured petals and they are a bit triangular in shape, with sort of like triangles with curved edges. And so with this one, I'm actually trying to make this look like a bumpy cut. Okay, beautiful, scraps away. So now it's gluing time. So you can actually do this by flipping that side over and smearing lots of glue onto it. I use a circular over rotation motion. Okay, and then that allows me to put my petals on. So I'm actually spreading three. See there's a space between each, like that. And then I'm coming in with the other ones. I'll let it dry a bit and then I will fold the petals up. But when I flip it round, ta-da! So you can go like this and these, if you hold it down here and bend a bit. That's sticking there. there's my six petal lovely poppy flower and we have poppies for Remembrance Day for Anzac Day lest we forget we've got our beautiful poppy